Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol OPTT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out our levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. Granted, the majority of that volume came in during the first portion, but still even the, the latter part of the day still had above average volume. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. I will say though that there's a, a pretty key level here and this by no means is some sort of great discovery on my part, uh, but that key level, is gonna be right here at, we'll call it $2.40. And this is what I would definitely call kind of a, a must hold level. And I don't mean to be dramatic, but so I'll try to explain things. But why is what I consider this a must hold level? Well, let's say that the price comes down at 240. 240 does not hold and then the price just continues on down. At that point in time, what would that be doing to the price of the chart? That would, or as far as the, the price on the chart, that would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range where it was before the big move happened. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that you know go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true strength or true power or anything like that. So 240, very important from that angle of things. And the other reason why I, I would consider it pretty important is let's say that the price still does roll back over a little bit. However, in this situation, behaves like this and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this set of circumstances? Well, you'd have lows right there, you'd have those lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. Uh, you know, it, it's just gonna make progress forward, right? It's not gonna, the price is not gonna go back to where it was. So 240 is kind of acting as a dictionary, meaning is the price quote unquote going back to where it was that associated with bullishness or excuse me, bearishness, or is the price quote unquote making progress that associated with bullishness. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, it's all about the pink line right here, which on my chart is denoting the 200 period at simple moving average. I'm definitely not the, gonna count the number of times, but a whole bunch of times today, the price you know struggled to, you know right around that area. And while the price did start out up above it, after it fall, you know, fell back below, it can never quite get back above it um, and stay above it. it. It got above it several times, but as far as staying above it, that's where the price has really struggled. So keep an eye on that. Overall though, interesting movement, and we'll see if the price can stay up above 240 or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.